Hello, and welcome to Goof and Chill. I'm Mikayla Wilfred. Today, I found another awesome Netflix series, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. The show starts in a bunker underneath a small town in Indiana. There are four girls stuck in the bunker after the reverend of the town kidnapped them. After 15 years, they are found by a psychic pig in the FBI and finally get to see sunlight again. They become referred to as the mole women on the news and even end up in New York to be on talk shows. One of them, Kimmy, decides she doesn't want to go back to Durnsville, Indiana, and she decides to stay in New York and try to live her life there. She meets a strange lady, Lillian, who allows her to live in the basement with a gay black man who wants to be an actor named Titus Andromedon. Kimmy also gets a job as a babysitter for a rich family. The son wants to be a supervillain, Buckley, the mom, who can only really be a trophy wife, Jacqueline, and a stepdaughter, Xanthippe, and of course the dad who's never home as fancy business fathers tend to be on TV shows. The show is how all of these characters survive in New York. Kimmy, being the main point, has issues adjusting to the new tech as well as lingo. Some of the things that occur in the show are Kimmy getting her GED or having her first kiss and date. I got into the show after a roommate decided to watch a few episodes while we were eating dinner. I genuinely thought the show was going to be a basic sitcom where a normal girl has to live in New York City, like New Girl or The Mindy Project. This show is off the wall. There are parts of the show that come out of nowhere. There's a point in the trial where the actors are parodying the lawyers in the O.J. Simpson trial. Another difference in the show and normal sitcoms is the episodes tend to tie over. Something that happens at the end of the episode sets up the story for the next episode. For instance, a character with PTSD mentions that Kimmy cannot make up the Christmases she lost, and then the next episode she tries to prove him wrong by having a fake Christmas. The show has a fun few faces in it. Kimmy is played by Ellie Kemper, who is in 21 Jump Street as Miss Griggs, and in The Office as Erin Hannon. Lillian is played by Carol Kane, who I know best as Valerie from The Princess Bride. Jacqueline is played by Jane Karofsky, who was in 30 Rock as Jenna Maroney. The writer and executive producer of this show is Tina Fey, who also wrote Mean Girls. She also plays a few parts in the show. The show is two seasons long, each with 13 half hour long episodes. A total of 26 episodes, with 13 more in season 3, coming out on May 19th. Well, that's all I have for you today. Be sure to tweet at ZTV goofing off with the hashtag goof and chill and let me know what you think of the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Until next time, I'm Akila Wilfred. Enjoy Netflix searching.